Chapter 12 Biotechnology and its applications Biotechnology as you would have learned from the previous chapter essentially deals with industrial scale production of biopharmaceuticals and biologicals using genetically modified microbes fungi plants and animals the applications of biotechnology include therapeutics diagnostics genetically modified crops for agriculture processed food bioremediation waste treatment and energy production three critical research areas of biotechnology are first providing the best catalyst in the form of improved organism usually a microbe or pure enzyme second creating optimal conditions through engineering for a catalyst to act and third downstream processing technologies to purify the protein or organic compound let us now learn how human beings have used biotechnology to improve the quality of human life especially in the field of food production and health biotechnological applications in agriculture let us look at the three options that can be thought for increasing fruit production first agrochemical based agriculture second organic agriculture and third genetically engineered crop based agriculture the green revolution succeeded in tripling the food supply but yet it was not enough to feed the growing human population increased yields have partly been due to the use of improved crop varieties but mainly due to the use of better management practices and use of agrochemicals that is fertilizers and pesticides however for farmers in the developing world agrochemicals are often too expensive and further increases in yield with existing varieties are not possible using conventional breeding is there any alternative path that our understanding of genetics can show so that farmers may obtain maximum yield from their fields is there a way to minimize the use of fertilizers and chemicals so that their harmful effects on the environment are reduced use of genetically modified crops is a possible solution plants bacteria fungi and animals whose genes have been altered by manipulation are called genetically modified organisms genetically modified plants have been used in many ways genetic modification has first made crops more tolerant to abiotic stresses that is cold drought salt heat second reduced reliance on chemical pesticides that is they made pest resistant crops third helped to reduce post harvest losses fourth increased efficiency of mineral uses by plants this prevents early exhaustion of fertility of soil fifth enhancing nutritional value of food example golden rice that is vitamin a enriched rice in addition to this uses genetically modified organisms has been used to create tailor made plants to supply alternative resources to industries in the form of starch fuel and pharmaceuticals some of the applications of biotechnology in agriculture that you will study in detail are the production of pest resistant plants which could decrease the amount of pesticide used bt toxin is produced by a bacterium called bacillus thuringiensis bt for short bt toxin gene has been cloned from the bacteria and been expressed in plants to provide the resistant to insects without the need of our insecticides in effect created to bio pesticide examples are bt cotton bt corn rice tomato potato and soybean etc bt cotton some strains of bacillus thuringiensis produce proteins that kill certain insects such as lepidopterans which contain tobacco birdworm armyworm coleopterans which contains beetles and dipterans which contains flies and mosquitoes bacillus thuringiensis forms 
protein crystals during a particular phase of their growth these crystals contain a toxic insecticidal protein why does this toxin not kill the bacillus actually the bt toxin protein exist as inactive protoxins but once an insect ingest the inactive toxin it is converted into an active form of toxin due to the alkaline or basic ph of the gut which solubilizes the crystals the activated toxin binds to the surface of midgut epithelial cells and create pores that cause swelling and lysis and eventually cause death of the insect specific bt toxin genes were isolated from bacillus thuringiensis and incorporated into the several crop plants such as cotton and corn the choice of genes depend upon the crop and the targeted pest as most bt toxins are insect group specific the toxin is coded by a gene cry 1 ac named cry there are a number of them for example the proteins encoded by the genes cry 1 ac and cry 2 ab control the cotton bollworms that of cry 1 ab controls corn borer pest resistant plants several nematode parasites a wide variety of plants and animals including human beings a nematode Melodigyne incognitia infects the roots of tobacco plant and causes a great reduction in yield. A novel strategy was adopted to prevent this infestation which was based on the process of RNA interference or RNAi. RNAi takes place in all eukaryotic organisms as a method of cellular defense. This method involves silencing of a specific mRNA due to a complementary double-stranded RNA molecule that binds to and prevents translation of the mRNA that is silencing. The source of this complementary RNA could be from an infection by viruses having RNA genomes or mobile genetic elements known as transposons that replicate via an RNA intermediate using acrobacterium vectors nematode specific genes were introduced into the host plant the introduction of dna was such that it produced both sense and antisense rna in the host cells these two rnas being complementary to each other formed a double stranded RNA that initiated RNA interference and thus silenced the specific mRNA of the nematode the consequence was that the parasite could not survive in a transgenic host expressing specific interfering RNA the transgenic plant therefore got itself protected from the parasite biotechnological applications in medicine the recombinant dna technological processes have made immense impact in the area of healthcare by enabling mass production of safe and more effective therapeutic drugs further the recombinant therapeutics do not induce unwanted immunological responses as is common in case of similar products isolated from non human sources at present about 30 recombinant therapeutics have been approved for human use the world over in india 12 of these therapeutics are presently being marketed genetically engineered insulin management of adult onset diabetes is possible by taking insulin at regular time intervals what would be a diabetic patient do if enough human insulin was not available if you discuss this you would soon realize that one would have to isolate and use insulin from the other animals would the insulin isolated from other animals be just as effective as that secreted by the human body itself and would it not elicit an human immune response in the human body now imagine if bacterium were available that could make human insulin suddenly the whole process becomes so simple you can easily grow a large quantity of the bacteria and make as much as insulin as you need 
think about whether insulin can be orally administered into diabetic people or not why insulin used for diabetes was earlier extracted from pancreas of slaughtered cattle and pigs insulin from an animal source though caused some patient to develop allergy or other types of reaction to the foreign protein insulin consists of two short polypeptide chains chain a and chain b that are linked together by disulfide bridges in mammals including humans insulin is synthesized as a pro hormone like a pro enzyme the pro hormone also needs to be processed before it becomes a fully mature and functional hormone which contains an extra stretch called the c peptide this c peptide is not present in the mature insulin and is removed during maturation into insulin the main challenge for the production of insulin using recombinant dna technologies was getting insulin assembled into a mature form in 1983 eli lilly an american company prepared two dna sequences corresponding to a and b chains of human insulin and introduced them in plasmids of e coli to produce insulin chains chains a and b were produced separately extracted and combined by creating disulfide bonds to form human insulin gene therapy if a person is born with a hereditary disease can a corrective therapy be taken for such a disease gene therapy is an attempt to do this gene therapy is a collection of methods that allows correction of gene effect that has been diagnosed in child or embryo here genes are inserted into a person's cells and tissues to treat a disease correction of a genetic defect involves delivery of a normal gene into the individual or embryo to take over the function of and compensate for the non functional gene the first clinical gene therapy was given in 1990 to a 4 year old girl with adenosine d aminase ada deficiency this enzyme is crucial for the immune system to function the disorder is caused due to the deletion of the gene for adenosine d aminase in some children adenosine d aminase deficiency can be cured by bone marrow transplantation in others it can be treated by enzyme replacement therapy in which functional adenosine d aminase is given to the patient by injection but the problem with both of these approaches that are they are not completely curative as a first step towards gene therapy lymphocytes from the blood of the patient are grown in a culture outside the body a functional adenosine d aminase complementary dna using a retroviral vector is then introduced into this lymphocytes which are subsequently returned to the patient however as these cells are not immortal the patient requires periodic infusion of such genetically engineered lymphocytes however the gene isolate from marrow cells producing aminosine adenosine d aminase is introduced into cell at early embryonic stages it could be a permanent cure molecular diagnosis you know that for effective treatment of a disease early diagnosis and understanding its pathophysiology is very important using conventional methods of diagnosis serum and urine analysis etc early detection is not possible recombinant dna technology polymerase chain reaction pcr and enzyme linked amino sorbent assay elisa are some of the techniques that serve the purpose of early diagnosis presence of a pathogen bacteria viruses etc is normally suspected only when the pathogen has produced a disease symptom by this time the concentration of pathogen is already very high in the body however 
very low concentration of a bacteria or virus at a time when the symptoms of the disease are not visible yet can be detected by amplification of their nucleic acid by PCR. Can you explain how PCR can detect very low amounts of DNA? PCR is now routinely used to detect HIV in suspected AIDS patients. It is being used to detect mutations in genes in suspected cancer patients too. It is powerful technique to identify many other genetic disorders. A single-stranded DNA or RNA tagged with a radioactive molecule probe is allowed to hybridize to its complementary DNA in a clone of cells followed by detection using autoradiography. The clone having the mutated gene will hence not appear on the photographic film because the probe will not have the complementarity with the mutated gene. ELISA is based on the principle of antigen-antibody interaction. Infection by pathogen can be detected by the presence of antigens such as proteins, glycoproteins, etc. or by detecting the antibodies synthesized against the pathogen. Transgenic Animals Animals that have had their DNA manipulated to possess and express an extra foreign gene are known as transgenic animals. Transgenic rats, rabbits, pigs, sheep, cows, fish have been produced. Although over 95% of all existing transgenic animals are mice. Why are these animals being produced? How can man benefit from such modifications? Let us try and explore some of the common reasons. First, Normal Physiology and Development Transgenic animals can be specifically designed to allow the study of how genes are regulated and how they affect the normal functions of the body and its development. Example, study of complex factor involved in growth such as insulin-like growth factor. By introducing genes from other species that alter the formation of this factor and studying the biological effects that result, information is obtained about the biological role of the factor in the body. 2. Study of disease Many transgenic animals are designed to increase our understanding of how genes contribute to the development of disease. These are specifically made to serve as models for human diseases so that investigation of new treatments for disease is made possible. Today, Transgenic models exist for many human diseases such as cancer, cystic fibrosis, rheumatoid arthritis, and Alzheimer's. Third, biological products. Medicines required to treat certain human diseases can contain biological products, but such products are often expensive to make. Transgenic animals that produce useful biological products can be created by the introduction of the portion of DNA or genes which codes for a particular product such as human protein alpha-1 antitrypsin used to treat emphysema. Similar attempts are being made for treatment of phenylketone urea and cystic fibrosis. In 1997, the first transgenic cow, Rosie, produce human protein enriched milk around 2.4 grams per liter. The milk contained the human alpha lactalbumin and was nutritionally a more balanced product for human babies than natural cow milk. Fourth, vaccine safety. Transgenic mice are being developed for use in testing the safety of vaccines before they are used on humans. Transgenic mice are being used to test the safety of the polio vaccine. In successful and found to be reliable, they could replace the use of monkeys to treat or test the safety of batches of the vaccine. Fifth, 
chemical safety testing this is known as toxicity or safety testing the procedure is the same as that used for the testing toxicity of drugs transgenic animals are made that carry genes which make them more sensitive to toxic substances that than non transgenic animals they are then exposed to the toxic substances and the effects studied toxicity testing in such animals will allow us to obtain results in less time ethical issues the manipulation of living organisms by the human race cannot go on any further without regulation some ethical standards are required to evaluate the morality of all human activities that might help or harm living organisms going beyond the morality of such issues the biological significance of such things is also important genetic modification of organisms can have unpredictable results when such organisms are introduced into the ecosystem therefore the indian government has set up organizations such as geac genetic engineering approval committee which will make decisions regarding the validity of gm research and the safety of introducing genetically modified organisms for public services the modification or uses of living organism for public services as food medicine sources for example has also created many problems with patents granted for the same there is growing public anger that certain companies are being granted patents for products and technologies that make use of the genetic materials plants and other biological resources that have long been identified developed and used by farmers and indigenous people of a specific region or country rice is an important food grain the presence of which goes back thousands of years in asia's agriculture history there are an estimated 2 lakh varieties of rice in india alone the diversity of rice in india is one of the richest in the world basmati rice is distinct for its unique aroma and flavor and 27 documented varieties of basmati are grown in india there is reference to basmati in ancient texts folklore and in poetry as it has been grown for centuries in 1997 an american company got patent rights on basmati rice through the us patent and trademark office this allowed the company to sell a new variety of rice of basmati in the us and abroad this new variety of basmati had actually been derived from the indian farmers varieties indian basmati was crossed with semi dwarf varieties and claimed as an invention or a novelty the patent extends to functional equivalents implying that other people selling basmati rice could be restricted by the patent several attempts have also been made to patent uses products and processes based on indian traditional herbal medicines example turmeric and neem if we are not vigilant vigilant and we do not immediately counter these patent applications other countries or individuals may in cash on our rich legacy and we may not be able to do anything about it biopiracy is the term used to refer to the use of bio resources by multinational companies and other organizations without proper authorization from the countries and people concerned without compensatory payment most of the industrialized nations are rich financially but poor in biodiversity and traditional knowledge in contrast the developing and the underdeveloped world is rich in biodiversity and traditional knowledge related to bio resources traditional knowledge related to bio resources can be exploited to develop modern applications and can also be used to save time effort and expenditure during their commercialization there has been growing realization of the injustice in adequate compensation and benefit sharing between developed and developing countries 
therefore some nations are developing laws to prevent such unauthorized exploitation of their bio resources and traditional knowledge the indian parliament recently had cleared the second amendment of the indian patents bill that takes such issues into consideration including patent terms emergency provisions and research and development initiative thank you